hello everyone in this video we are going to talk about semen analysis so semen analysis sometimes called hsa that is husband semen analysis 2 and this is the same thing now what is semen semen is the male fluid containing sperms okay so now uh, the semen analysis is the first or basic investigation for the male infertility if you want to uh, if you want to investigate the reasons behind male infertility you need to do first is C, uh, HSA okay now we have a reference ranges of various parameters provided by WHO itself so we pro, uh, we should follow this uh, uh, worldwide so that we can have a uh, uh, reference range in uh, uni uh, uh, universal reference ranges so now let's discuss those parameters the first and very important aspect of the semen analysis is volume a volume should be more than 1.5 ml it should be more than 1.5 ml if the volume of the semen if the patient or if the male uh, cannot uh, cannot give you the sample uh, of more than 1.5 ml then it is called hypo spermia so what is hypospermia the volume of semen is less than 1.5 okay now the sperm count the sperm count is very important it should be at least 39 million per ejaculation so per one ejaculation the sperm count should be at least 39 million it should be more than 39 million okay sperm concentration the most important the most important parameter of sperm analysis is concentration sperm concentration that should be 15 million per ml uh, uh, sorry actually uh, this is not hypospermia hypospermia means less than 1.5 ml of volume of semen okay yeah so let's continue with this thing a uh, sperm concentration should be at least 15 million per ml 15 millions per ml should be at least 15 millions per ml of the semen okay now now another important aspect is motility now what we measure here is what we concerned about here is a progressive motility that should be more than or equal to 32 percent uh, uh, 32 percentages okay the progressive motility should be more than 32 percentages so uh, you you will know that what is progressive motility what is normal motility and that will you know here I have said that, that the sperm concentration is less than 15 million then it is called oligozoospermia okay sperm concentration less than 15 million it will be called as a oligozoospermia what is azoospermia azoospermia means there is there are no sperms in the semen the patient gives you the semen sample and when you examine it under the microscope you are finding no sperms that means azoospermia progressive motility the lowest value should be 32 percentages if it is if the motility progressive motility is less than 32 percent then it is called asthenospermia remember asthenospermia now let's come to the sperm morphology what is sperm morphology the how the sperm is made of what is the uh, what is the uh, the structure of sperm that is called morphology sperm should be uh, morphologically normal at least four percent see it is a very low uh, lower uh, percentage that even with more than four percentage of normal sperms the pregnancy can be achieved so yes the morphology should be at least four percent normal morphology and if there is less than four percent then we can call it teratozoospermia okay teratozoospermia teratozoospermia that one thing 
now uh, sperm vitality now what is vitality how we know that the, this sperm is vital uh, vital and this sperm is dead simply by motility if the tail of the sperm is having some motion then we can call it as a vi uh, as a vital sperm a living sperm and if the sperm's tail is not moving or not having a motions then we can call it a dead sperm so at least 58% sperm should be vital and vital means this uh, sperm's the tail is moving okay the ph should be more than 7.2 now what was fructose uh, the fructose in the semen comes from the seminal vesicle so when there is a fructose present then we can say that okay seminal vesicle fluid is coming but once we don't know that once we know that the fructose is absent in the semen then we can confirm that that the seminal vesicle is not there and there is some problem now this is the normal picture under microscope how the sperm is seen you can see this is the this is the head this is the the tail of the sperm now let's discuss something the count we have told the sperm count should be 15 million per ml okay zero sperms mean azoospermia okay zero sperms mean azoospermia if the person is not able to give you a semen at least then it is called aspermia so remember the difference aspermia and azoospermia okay now oligospermia means the count is less than 15 ml but the sperms are present so depending on the count it is further divided into mild moderate and severe oligospermia the mild oligos oligospermia is 10 to 15 million moderate is 5 to 10 million and severe oligospermia means less than 5 million of sperms now see this mortality if you talk about mortality of the sperm this is mortality when the sperm is uh, moving in all directions but what is progressive mortality the sperm is moving in the one direction so what we need is progressive mortality sorry here here should be more than 32 more than 30 2 percent mortality should be at least 58 percent okay progressive mortality should be more than 32 percent so now you i think you will have a general idea now what are the grades of mortality a grade mortality means progressive mortality in one direction b grade mortality means the sperm is moving but not in one direction the c means the sperm is there the the tail is moving the tail has a motion but the sperm is not moving from its particular site what is d d means the sperm is dead no mortality no moving of tail now what we think about morphology morphology at least four percent morphology should be there four percent morphology is normal now this is the sperm this is the head this is the mitochondria this is the tail this is a normal sperm there are many other abnormal kind of sperms like uh, this sperm of having two heads this sperm having two tails vacuolated sperms all these are abnormal sperm and they cannot give you or, or they have some problem in their dna also now leukocyte count in the semen should be less than two because it all suggests also infection it's also the infection so if it is more than two percent we should try and give the patient antibiotics so these are the basic things about semen analysis thank you friends